Hey, Right Writers, Keith Wheeler here, back with another video for you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about writing a Kindle short read. More specifically, how to know what to write. Now, first, for those people who don't know, what is a Kindle short read? Well, Kindle short read is actually a, a category of ebook within Amazon that only Amazon can assign your book to, but basically they're categories of books that are between one page and 100 pages long. You can't request to be added to these categories or anything like that. It's something that is just automatically done through Kindle. But by doing a few steps, more importantly, making sure that you stay within that page range, the one page to 100 pages, can really help you get listed in the KDP Kindle short reads. So how do you know what to write? First, you need to collect your ideas. So if you want to write a fiction book, what you want to do is come up with three to five niches that you really enjoy reading. By picking ones that you are familiar with and you enjoy, you'll know what tropes are common. You'll know what other competitors are out there and what kind of other books that you'll be competing against. Now, if you want to write nonfiction, you want to come up with about five to 10 topics that you know enough about that you can teach someone else. You don't have to be an expert in it. All you have to do is be a little bit above a beginner. So that way you can write your book for beginners. If you're more intermediate, then obviously you can write it for a broader audience. But pick five to 10 topics that you know enough about that you can teach somebody. Next up is deciding the length of your book. For each topic or niche that you decided that you can write about, determine how many pages you're comfortable writing. Now, my suggestion is, for this is to get a piece of paper out there and you can write all this information down an Excel spreadsheet is what works best for me. So you've got your topics. Next, like I said, you want to come up with the length that you can write. Realistically, how many pages do you think you can write about that topic? Again, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. So if you're writing fiction, how many pages do you think you can write in that genre? This is important because the Kindle short reads categories are broken up by virtual page count. So knowing realistically how much you can and cannot write about a subject will help you know which length category you may fit into. As of the recording of this video, the group lengths are as follows. 15 minutes, which is one to 11 pages. 30 minutes, which is 12 to 21 pages. 45 minutes, which is 22 to 32 pages. One hour, which is 33 to 43 pages. 90 minutes, which is 44 to 64 pages. And two hours or more, is 65 to 100 pages. Now I do want to note that an ebook page count according to Amazon will differ a bit from your actual printed page count. It's usually going to be lower. But since the groups are in ranges, your estimates will give you a good gauge of which category you'll fit into. Now as a side note, Dave Chess and Kindle Panure did a great article earlier this year about how Amazon calculates the page count, the average words per page on a fiction versus a nonfiction, and a whole lot more. I'll drop a link to that article down in the description below if you want to check it out later on. The main takeaway for this video is that on average, nonfiction books have 230 words per page and fiction books have an average of 280 words per ebook page. So again, that'll help you kind of gauge how much you have to write about that particular topic for the number of pages that it's going to be. The next step is research. You're going to go to Amazon. You're going to check out the niches and determine the competition and the average BSR or bestseller rank for the top 20 books. You wanna write down the average price points, as well as know if most of them are in Kindle Unlimited or not. This information can help you narrow down topics later on. Let me show you how. Here we are on Amazon. Now I'm using it in incognito mode, but you don't have to. Uh, I'm gonna go right here to all, and this is gonna give me the different categories. I'm gonna go down to e-readers and books, Kindle books. We're gonna scroll down towards the bottom. And right here, it says short reads. We'll click on that. And then here are the different reading times. So you're going to take your list that you have of the different niches that you think you can write in or the different topics you can talk about and look at what page count you think you can do and determine which reading time that falls into. So if you think that you can write one that's equivalent to 30 minutes, then you'll click on that category. If you think it could be 45 minutes, you click on that one. Maybe you have one that you're like, I could write really anything about it. Well, then if it falls into multiple categories, click on them and see which one would best benefit you to write in. You know, should you write a shorter one or a longer one? You're gonna look at this information and really determine it that way. So we're gonna go into 45 minutes. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your competition, which is overall, it's gonna be 50,000, but obviously it'll be narrowed down more once we start looking at the different niches that we're interested in. So if I go in here and I look at, let's say that the book I was gonna write about was going to be a softball fiction book, okay? 
So I might go into teen and young adult and see what the competition is here. Here it's 30,000. So that right there tells me that's pretty competitive. So I'm going to write that down, what my competition is, 30,000. Then I'm going to look and see, I'm going to click on the first book that I see. I'm going to scroll down. And under here is going to be one, the bestseller rank, but we're going to look at the category. So this is 45 minute teen young adult short read. So I'm going to click on that. And this is going to give me the top 100 books in this particular niche. So bestsellers in 45 minute teen and young adult short, short reads. I would suggest that you get the free DS Amazon quick view Chrome extension. Like I said, it's absolutely free, but it makes it so that way, instead of having to click on each book, I can see right here what the BSR is or the bestseller rank. I can also hover over the book and get some of the details. Like for example, I can get the print length, what the page count is. So again, super, super helpful. You also want to jot down whether it's in Kindle Unlimited, because that might help you decide whether or not you really want to use the, write that book or not. Because with Kindle Unlimited, you're getting paid on a per page read instead of an actual sale when people are purchasing it through that library. And so, you know, that's great if you're writing a long novel, but with a short read, you're only going to be getting fractions of a book that's read. So you really want to keep that in mind. It might be a deciding factor in which niche to write in. So again, you're just going to go through the top 10 or 20 books in this particular niche. You're going to write down the BSR, whether it's in Kindle Unlimited. And I usually write down the, uh, the actual price point as well, just to, again, let you know what you can expect or what the competition is, is getting paid and therefore what your consumers or potential consumers are used to paying. So like that one right there was extremely ridiculous, $7.99, but it has a large number of reviews, it's a very popular book. They can afford to, to pay, to charge that amount. Again, it's in Kindle Unlimited. Most of the sales they're getting are probably gonna be through that, so through the page count. So again, you're gonna do that for the top 10, 20 books in that particular niche. And you're gonna do this for each of the niches that you think you can write in, each of the topics you think you can talk about, and, uh, and the different read categories that you think you can write. So again, if you think you can write uh, one to 11 pages, then you'll look at the the 15 minute ones. If you think you can write a little bit more than that, then you'll look at the 30 minute ones. You might want to look at multiple ones again to see, to help you decide how many pages to write. You know, one niche might be super competitive in 45 minutes, but if you drop down to 30 minutes, might not be as competitive. And yet it might, and might even sell more. You don't know unless you look it up. And this is how you do the research. So now that we've done that research, and that's probably other than writing is gonna be the most time consuming part, it's time to analyze the data that you have. Ideally, you want low competition, which is less than a thousand competitors, and good sales with an average of BSR between 20,000 and 100,000. And what I do for that column in my spreadsheet is I basically just give it a ranking from one to 10. 10 being the one that I absolutely think will be my best seller, and going down to one, which is something that I, I could write about, but either I'm not super confident in it, or you know maybe the competition's too much, or it doesn't get a lot of sales, or maybe the price point isn't good enough, whatever. So that's how I, I rank it, because I may have 10 topics that I can write about, but again, I need to write only one book at a time. And so I, I use that ranking to decide which one that I can write right now, which is gonna be my best chances of getting success right out of the gate. And finally, you gotta decide, this is the hard part. Once you have all the data, it's up to you to decide which topic you'd like to write about. You know, I told you how I do it, but do you go with your bigger passion and maybe lower profits? Or do you go for the topic with the best potential and then later on write the ones that are more passion related? Again, it's completely up to you. But the great thing about Kindle short reads is because they're shorter, you can write all 10 of those books within a year if you have the time. You know, it's not like you're writing novels that are gonna take you months and months to write and edit and everything else. So because they're Kindle short reads, you have a much better chance of, of knocking out more and more books within a shorter period of time. Again, focusing on quality. Now, if after all this, you're wondering if you should even worry about writing a short read, well, check out this video right here, where I'll share with you five great reasons why you should write a Kindle short read. Now, if you already know you want to write a Kindle short read, or maybe you know you don't want to, either way, you don't need to check out that one. YouTube says this one is right up your alley. I'll catch you in one of these videos, and remember to write right.